Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Maypole Farm. I have just finished plow-evading these fields with the cult plow. Moving on up to field number 51. And we'll take a look and see how our big oat field is doing. Big oats. I went the wrong way. Uh, I did clean up the trees a little bit, but I think that's something I'll just work on when I have time here and there. Uh, clearing some of those trees out. If I need money, I can... The downside is you have to rent stuff to do it, so it's like, it makes it almost not worth it. But we gotta get this field done. Do any of these need lime, by the way? This one does. I suppose we'll lime them all, and then we'll put corn on them. Oh, and our, it looks like our wheat, or our oat field is done, so... What's up, Mater? Ooh, the opening of a pop bottle. So I'm going to let that worker go, and we'll go ahead and start uh, harvesting this field while he's doing his thing. I'm assuming this field over here is going to need plowing too, but maybe not. Let's see. No, of course. It does. <laughs> We'll cut, we'll cut around the outside of this field first because we have some room to work and then we'll do back and forth patterns. I'll probably have to cut twice on that one end. What are you doing, Mater? downside is I kind of have a sore throat mm. and I shouldn't so we're gonna go around the outside once on this end we should only have to do it once because there's enough room to turn around over here but that other end is a little bit tight there so what's the matter Moo? Moni's playing roller coaster tycoon he said, no, I'm not. Not Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, what's it called, hon? Planet Coaster? Now, you said they still do make Roller Coaster Tycoon too, right? Yeah. Think. You think? <laughs> That's an Electronic Arts game, though, right? No. No? I know EA is the worst. What's up, Johnny boy? Mate. Dot. Dot. I -O. What's dot IO? Weird. I wonder why. They're cool games. They're called dot IO. But this one games at house. We game the website. Okay. What's the matter, Moo Pie? Something big at the park? That's a good thing, right? Oh, a, a human. A line jam? I'm stuck on the tree. My butt is stuck. Ugh. My big butt. There we go. Now we're going to store, we're going to collect the straw and save it in our barn so that we have straw to work with for our cows. We're going to buy cows first and then we're going to switch over to, uh, we're going to buy, actually we'll buy horses. Eh, I don't know. We need the same things for both of them, but the cows need the corn. I think we'll, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We're definitely going to plant corn on all these fields. And then, uh, I was hoping to have hay, because we got oats now. We have everything we need for the horses but hay. 
I suppose we could buy some hay bales. They're just they're kind of pricey, but I've got money, so it's not it's not a huge issue right now. We could get the horses started. Like Felsbrun, the horses are about to uh, to pop, and I'm I stand to make mm, I want to say about three or four hundred thousand dollars. So they're gonna pay, the horses will pay off. It just takes time. Um, and unfortunately, they do eat a lot of oats. When you have a full eight horse corral, um, they take about five to seven thousand oats a day. So you can't really purchase the oats. It would take you. It's going to cost you a ton of money to buy Daddy, them. Yes, John. How do I know Bianaful? How do you know that you're Bianaful? How long? Um, till around four. So another hour. Sorry, kiddo. I need content. I'm I'm out of content for my channel. So. <laughs> He's. John's chomping at the bit to get on my computer. Thank you. Are you enjoying your downtime, Moni Moo? Oh, yeah. Good. Did you build another coaster or something? Oops. No. What did you do? I don't know. Oh, John. It was on my ear. Black one. Well, that's a ridey ride. So we're about halfway full now. Moving right along. I love you. What? Did you just poo-poo me? No. Yes, you did. No, I did not. You said t. No. Yes. <laughs> Seth heard it too. Do you want a computer? You're going to bribe my kid. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I bought it. Yeah. When he moves, bribing my kids to be on her side. And that's okay. Yeah, it really is. Seth said it really isn't. <laughs> Technically, that's a foul. Thanks, John. I love you too, kid. I love you. Five thousand eight four million percent more. Ha 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 ha! Hee haw! All right, so. It's Happy Harvest Day. So we're going to plant corn. We're going to have to, yes ma'am. And then we're going to have to chop it. We're going to have to chop that corn. Turn it into silage. Silage. Oi, not funny joke. problem is <laughs> I'm out here and I forgot my tipper and my tractor is being used um, usually I don't hire workers so um, but this guy oh, where is he going it's interesting all right so we're gonna this worker is gonna take a break and we're gonna dump this right here bye 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 call T plow yes What's up, green eyes? Hi, pretty. I love ya. Hi. What? Are you gonna? What's going on? What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Babs?
Do we need any to do any invoicing? Um, no. no. Um, dirty tractor. What? My Dad. tractor's all dirty. What? Daddy, I'm so, I was just... But, but you're right. You're correct. Daddy, I was... You're right. You're right. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, I'm just kidding about why you more than five years ago. Well, maybe just that more. I like it as well. Oh, John, enough. No more, ki no more kissing up, boy. That's called butt kissing. So I don't kiss butts. Sir. All right, so we are. Yeah, Soup. Good grief. Come on, we let you stay up later all the time, noobs. Because you're. Well, you're whining. Six thirty. You're going to bed now, Seth. Whoa. Where's that at? Okay. Wow. All because she's going to have a heart attack if she drinks too much coffee. No. People drink coffee all the time like that. Yeah, but that's a... I only had one cup of coffee, yes, sir. Yeah, you had it after today. Mommy? Can I want to go tell him? So what? Tell him. Oh, uh, Seth, please go make coffee for Moni. She's not going to drink it all anyway. She will. Well, then just make two cups. The trick is to make a little bit less, and then you'll have, she'll be fine. Take your cup down and refill it, kiddo. Daddy. Yes, John, please don't pull on that. I mean, Simone, Simone, what? What? There we go. So our first load of oats. I'm going to go ahead and drop this trailer here. And we'll continue harvesting. I'm going to put this guy back to work. Now that we have the tipper on the field, I'm just going to leave it there. I really kind of want to buy a second small tractor, but I think that it's probably better not to. It's <sighs> just save our money. Well, that's that's the problem with a autonomous human being. Sometimes they follow directions. Sometimes they just go the, their own way. Seth, go, come on, Sue. Go do it. I will. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this worker back to work. I'm going to go ahead and finish harvesting the field, and we'll catch up with you guys once that is done to keep this episode rolling along. See you guys in a moment. So I'm trundling along, getting the harvest done, and I will say I'm getting a decent amount of oats off this field, more than I thought I would get. So I'm hoping that maybe what we'll do is just keep making this an oat field um, for the horses. And then the rest can be grass. Because mostly we just need grass for the cows and straw. This oat field produces enough straw, I think, and enough, um, and enough uh, oat for the horses and the cows. And then... The other field, since grass is kind of a thinner, you know, grass comes out a little bit thinner, so you need a lot of grass to get enough food for the animals. But, uh, <clears throat> I think that'll work fine. Haven't seen rain yet on this farm. I never get that far in. People, somebody was asking me last night on the stream, he's like, do you ever get past the second harvest? The good news is with New Holland Farm, I think I'm on like the sixth or seventh harvest on New Holland Farm. I've, I've had the farm for at least 10 days, or almost 10 days, because the horses are due. So. This is where it gets kind of tight in here. Because of the way the corner is shaped. It's a little bit hard to get the harvester to. I want to make a nice straight line. The good news is the straw doesn't start coming out for a couple seconds, so I have time to get lined up. But these are not the straightest lines in the world. I suppose I could make a big oval pattern. 
that may be faster. And we'll go down. This is what I was thinking, like travel down here. I'm guessing that they have to actually fill these up up top. It looks like the uh, like there's I see a blue uh, cap. I don't know if you guys can see where the fire hydrant is on the back of the harvester there, and there is a blue cap and with a tank. And I'm wondering if that's the the, the uh, DEF, the diesel exhaust fluid, if that's where that goes. And then maybe like that right there looks like a gas cap on the right there by the ladder to the right of the ladder. So I'm thinking that's what that is. That was not me. No one believes that. And maybe oil up on top? I, I don't know. Anyway, it's interesting like to think that... I wonder, like, you'd have to like carry the hose up or maybe have somebody pass it up to you when you're filling it up. Though this thing seems to carry a decent amount of fuel, so you probably don't have to do it too often. But I guess they run into that on any farm. John just yelled at the dog said, shut up! So we've pulled about 7,000 oats off this field so far. I've got another 2,000 in the tank almost. Uh, if we can get 15 or 20, that'd be good. That'd be enough for the horses for several days. Yeah. But we still need hay. Um, once again, I suppose we could buy a couple bales to cover them. So that we can get them started. Because the sooner we get the horses started, the sooner we start getting income. Um, now, I do have the horse helper mod enabled, so I don't, shouldn't have to worry about feeding the horses. But, or, I mean, walking the horses. Like, they'll, they'll ride. They'll, they'll get ridden every day. Costs money, but it's worth it. All right, I'm going to keep going with this. I'll catch you guys in a sec. All right, uh, we're finishing up here on this field. Um, I hired a worker to finish up because this guy got lost over doing the uh, cultivating. So we're going to go ahead and put this down here. Silly vodka. And so we got about 10,000 oats. Uh, I'm probably going to start with four horses. And we'll go from there. Um, maybe add a couple more each day. But uh, I want to get that initial growth spurt going here. So I gotta wait till I have some, we'll get some hay bales. Unfortunately, once again, the money's not really coming in. That's the hard part. We're not gaining anything. We're basically just working the farm. The horses are gonna be the profit. So this is gonna be a little bit of a difficult, um, we just gotta watch what we spend. Um, obviously gas, maintenance, that kind of stuff has to be done. But, um, this tractor has been doing fairly well, uh, and it's you know obviously somewhat fuel efficient. I think I've filled it up maybe once. I don't remember if I bought a gas tank for this farm or not. We'll take a look when we're back over here. But this oat container is just going to get parked uh, where you feed the horses, because that's really all it's going to be is a, a horse feeding tank, <laughs> I guess, if you will. Um, though, gosh dang it. Um, I almost hope the horses I buy eat all the oats, because if I'm going to try to collect chaff, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Did we buy a gas tank for this farm? I don't remember. No, we did. You're right. We did not. Uh, so we'll pull this over to the feed chamber. The feed area. And there's all these trees that I've knocked down for no reason. Because obviously the field's not big enough to mow. Yeah. Unless I knock them all down and then I gotta clear them and it's just too much of a hassle. So, I'm gonna pop that there. Uh oh. And I'm gonna clean this tractor up because it is really a mess. And we'll get ready. We'll do some hay. We'll do some straw collecting for our um, silo.
We'll repair this tractor. Yep. And wash her up. My joystick's obviously drifting a little bit. <laughs> this is an older one. These are these cheap Walmart. Are you almost done, Daddy? I am uh, almost done, John, yes. How much longer do you have? Till I'm done. How much longer is that? Whenever I'm finished, son, whenever I'm finished. You said an hour longer. John! You won't be going on it at all. <laughs> Ask again and you banged off it. You can yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Well. All right, I got my trailer. I'm on my way back. Let's go ahead and collect some straw. We need to clean the harvester up and put it away, maintain it. So we are going to have to get gas from the dealership. The good news is the dealership's not very far away, so it's not too hard to get it. Can drive right over here. Starting to figure out my way around the farm. The version 2 map has made this area a little bit more open than it was, which is nice. I think if I remember right, there was a hedgerow to my right also on the version 1 map. What are you, a horse? Nee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's up, matey? You good, kid? All right, stop. John. John! Enough. Are you walking around? And no surprise, John's walking around in his underwear. That's... That's how he rolls. And I would say we'll probably get two or three loads off of this field. This is once again our largest of the fields that we own. Um, kisses. Now, I think this wagon can actually hold chaff, so we may have the opportunity just to use this as a chaff wagon. I'm pretty sure it does. Um... Even though it's got those wires along the top, I'm pretty sure you can use this as a chaff wagon. Let's take a look in the shop real quick. Hang on, John. Hang on. Well, go eat some mashed potatoes. Potatoes and all kinds of stuff in the fridge that you can warm up. You just got to zap it in the microwave, kid. Mate, no, he's sick. Somebody needs to go and do it for him. I'll zap it on the way down. Collects grass, hay, or straw. It can also be filled with chaff, yes. So these do take chaff, um, so we can... Oh, I didn't realize the guy was still running. He ran right up the field. So yes, you can use these as chaff wagons. We'll have to run a forage harvester and then we'll run alongside of it with this. And fill it up with corn chaff. But that's nice, so I don't have to... I was worried about having to unload the oat wagon to collect the chaff, but I don't now because this will also collect chaff. So we're, we're all set. I forgot that you could do that. You can double double duty these, so I'm glad I checked. So if you haven't seen this before, what chaff is, is you take corn and you chop it into bits. Um, you can also do it to other crops and grass, but uh, grass just becomes grass, but it still can be used for silage. But corn makes the most dense silage, so uh, that's what we're using for the cows because you get a lot for your acreage. Um, so we're going to use that. You could probably also use... Wow, look at that, 2300 on the dot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I am going to go ahead and call the episode here. Uh, we'll be collecting the straw off these fields uh, and then turning this field around to be ready for um, planting corn. We'll have to rent a corn seeder because I do not own one. Um, so that's another debit to our account. But we will have straw for our, an our, an for our animals. Um, we may even buy a few cows and get them started on stuff but I think with silage you can actually get the cows to 80% without having any grass isn't that right Moni well, the cows get at 80% they get with silage right uh, yeah. so TMR gives them 100% but you can still get them to 80% with just silage 
So the sooner we get that stuff baking, the better, um, so we can start getting cows in too. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going fairly well. Um, we still have a decent amount of money to buy the animals and get our cows. And I'm not going to buy a ton of cows to start with, but we will try to, you know, as we make money selling milk each time. We, I think a, a container, a full get container of milk, is about eight thousand bucks. And I think, if I remember right, cows are. Um, cows well, go moo. They do. They do. Cows do go moo. Um, <laughs> what did Anna say? Oh, Arthur, I like her. Death to keep her. <laughs> I plan on it. Cows are cheaper than horses. Look at that. I thought they'd be more expensive. Yeah. They're twenty two hundred dollars, twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, so twenty seven hundred with the delivery fee, but. Uh, so yeah, so each time we sell a container of milk, we'll buy like two more cows until um, we have the pen maybe like 80% full and then we'll let them breed and get the rest of the, the, the pen full. But, uh, yep, they're not too bad price wise. I didn't realize they were so cheap. That's actually a really good thing. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that does it for this episode of Maypole Farm. Hopefully you enjoyed yourselves watching. Uh, I know I've had fun working on this farm and recording it. It is a little bit small. But it's different than any of the other farms that I've played so far. And I also, you know, Marwell's awesome and stuff like that. But I am really enjoying this farm. I'm totally lost. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, always help. And we'll see you next time on Maypole Farm.